here at Fox last year. I think most people thought he'd eventually go back to playing football, probably with Tom Brady. But in Tampa? For the Bucks? Wait, wait, forget the reunion. Who could have ever imagined Tom Brady, who's won more Super Bowls than any single player in the history of the league, joining the franchise with the worst winning percentage all time among teams still in business? What kind of sorcery, Jay Glazer, made all this happen? Well, knowing Bruce Arians, probably a lot of alcohol and a lot of foul language. But look, <laughs> Bruce Arians has seen everything in football and his coach quarterbacks along the likes of Andrew Luck, Ben Roethlisberger, the great Peyton Manning, and now he can actually finish his career with the greatest of them all, Tom Brady. Bruce is known for his quarterback work and also his own, well, let's say, gruff kind of fun. So is this the year he, Brady and the Bucks, left all the way to the Super Bowl? There we are. What's happening, brother? Hey, baby. How you doing, bud? What's that? You know what, though? I don't think I've ever seen you without a Kangaroo hat on. What, what's going on there? Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't find one to match his color. Plus, I now have, I now have my COVID hair. <laughs> I wish I could have COVID hair. <laughs> this is insane. You have the best quarterback of all time. You know, the expectation for me is to go in. They are on the map now. Hey, uh, you obviously have had, well, quite the offseason. You got Bear Bryant right over your right shoulder there, and you were... You recruited for him. Then you recruited Tom Brady this year. Is that the best recruiting job you've ever done? Well, I don't think there's any doubt so far. You know, uh, we got a nice team on paper. He obviously is the, is the marquee thing. Now we got to go out and do something about it. Okay, okay. You've coached pretty much a who's who quarterbacks, right? Where does Tom rank in this group? Well, it's obviously, obviously got the most range, you know. Uh, they, they all have the same trait. They'll do anything it takes to win. Where, where's he different than those guys? He has more fun doing it. You know, he's like a little kid. And walkthroughs, you know, I jump on his ass all the time because he wants to throw the ball to somebody. I said, dude, it's a walkthrough. The ball's don't get thrown. So that's what he gets that's what he gets chewed out. Here we go, Gronkowski joining the party. You're talking about a guy Gronk. How's he doing down there? How long did it take him to kind of get his legs back up under him? I think he just got him. <laughs> I mean, he's good. I mean, we, had, we had a day like three days ago. It was 100% humidity. He just looked at me and shook his head. I got water squirting out my shoes, and we had to start practicing. I said, "Welcome to Florida, brother." <laughs> I'm crying right now, dude. You got the anticipation with Brady and Gronkowski. Now you pick up for that. This is just a team that players want to play for. But you go after guys like Fournette because you look at it and say, "Man, we are." We're several on this dream team this year. Is it Super Bowl or bust? It is every year. You know, we talk about setting that goal, then we go back to work. You don't get the Super Bowl this week. It's all about togetherness. It's a commitment to each other, to beat the virus, and to beat the 16 teams we play. If you win a Super Bowl this year, do we see you kind of walk off in the sunset here after this season? No, we'll try for two. <laughs> Dummy's talking about four or five. I don't know if I got four or five, but uh, <laughs> it makes the job a lot of fun. Think about that from Bear Bryant all the way to Tom Brady. Now, look, Coach Arians, he's had more health issues than really any head coach coaching today. So I asked him, if Tom Brady didn't come there, would you still be coaching this season? He said, Jay, no question about it. Absolutely, that's what I do. And I want to bring in Jimmy Johnson now who knows a thing or two about building dynasties. Coach, do you buy the hype there in Tampa? Oh, hey, I'm excited for him. And, and Jay, I really think they're going to have a lot of fun in Tampa this year. You know, the concern I have is when you bring in a lot of new players, you got Brady, Gronkowski, Fournette, you know, they were good on offense last year, except they turned the ball over. Without Brady, with Brady in there, they're not going to turn the ball over as much. They're exciting, but I don't know that they're going to mesh. I think that not having preseason hurt them as much as anybody. Then they're in a division, maybe the toughest in the entire NFL, and they're going to go against the Saints this week, maybe the most exciting game of the year. And, you know, the Saints have been this close right there of going all the way. I think it's the Saints division, but I think Tampa will be a playoff team. I think it comes down to which 40-year-old is upright. 
Uh, honestly, I mean, I, I, that <laughs> sounds like a funny line, but it's really not. I mean, Brady's 41, Brady 43. Right, yeah. and and I think if Tom is upright, and, and there lies the question, I, I, if they're loaded down there, they can attack you in a number of different ways with the addition of Fournette. They can go three tight ends, they can spread you out, they can do a lot of different things. And Jimmy, I agree, typically, you know, with, with no offseason, no OTAs, the virtual meetings, all of that, but Tom shrinks that learning curve with everyone. You know, the, you saw the footage of him getting together with all the skilled players and getting on the same page. And Tom walks in a room and everyone's commitment is elevated. And, and I truly believe that if he's upright, they'll have a shot. The one thing we've seen already, they've become the front bunch. Let Fournette just join the team this week. And already on social media, I don't know if you had a chance, I know you're on, on Twitter and Instagram all the time, TV. But he put this out here. Hey, guys, quick update. Met a new friend, Tom Brady, and also a great coach in Bruce Arians. That one of the great videos of the two kids hugging it out, making sure that everybody knows, hey, we're in this together. We're going to have fun down in Tampa this year. But still, as you it's, see the challenge. Listen, it's going to be fun watching them. I can't. I'm like everyone else out there that loves pro football or football. I can't wait to watch Brady and Tampa Bay, but I really can't wait to watch New Orleans. I still think that division belongs to the Saints. You can't miss all the time together with a new bunch of players players and expect them to start the seasons right off great. I do believe bringing in Fournette with Tampa Bay was a brilliant move because as I've said before, running games are easier to get going early in the season than the passing game. And just because you bring in everybody that's a who's who in the NFL at offense does not guarantee you that you're going to go to the Super Bowl. My, my pick is going to be the Saints with Atlanta pushing everyone. Fournette caught over 70 balls. Yeah, 26 last year down in Jacksonville. People don't realize that. By the way, you can catch Brady's Bucks debut in the biggest game on the NFL slate this first Sunday. It's America's Game of the Week. Tom Brady against Drew Brees. The Buccaneers at the Saints. That's after a great slate of early games. In